guys, it's Samantha here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of The Decades Challenge. I am very excited to jump in today's episode. I have a lot planned and I'm really excited and I hope you guys like uh, I hope you guys like what we've got planned. I am so excited to share Emma's story with you guys. I think it's going to be a really good one. So I really hope you guys stick around to watch what happens. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please consider hitting subscribe. I do lots of videos like this. And if you enjoy this video, you might like some of my other content. I would love for you guys to stick around and hang out with us. And I think that's all I have to say for today. So why don't we just jump in to the Sims 4 Decades Challenge. So we are joining the household back with our little family. In today's episode, we are going to be focusing on our little Emma. And we are also going to be focusing on um, aging up a few of the baby loonies. So I think what I want to do today is I want to get Harry to start working on his... Um, on his handiness skill at the end of this episode we are going to be aging up edward i think edward was just is just gonna age up on his own i think he's pretty much ready to go oh oh my gosh you guys look how pregnant sarah is oh my gosh they're pregnant together i think for the first time in forever uh, let's ask about Day. Oh my gosh, she's super... Oh, what is she having? I, let's let it be a surprise. Friendly. Can we ask about her due date? Ask to feel the baby. Oh my gosh, look at these best friend cute scenes here. They just became good friends. That's a little bit... Of, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um... Oh, look at them. Oh, she's probably so happy for her friend. Can we give her a hug? She's like, I cannot believe the cramps I'm getting. I can't believe you've done this so many times. Like, she's just complaining about the life of being preggers. We need Alice to start painting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of babies, a lot of people. So we should paint. Do you guys like my new shirt? My best friend made me a tie dye shirt in my favorite, like pink color, and I love it, love it, love it. Uh, thank you so much, my dear friend. You are so sweet. Ooh, well, it's a good picture of Harry. Thanks, Harry, for saving the day. And can I talk and paint at the same time? Can we ask her about other sims? I want to ask her about her husband. Let's see how... See, we don't know him that well. And she really likes Daniel, you know? So I feel like Alice would be like, you know, how's Daniel doing? How's things? I noticed the kids are really, you know, starting to get close. Uh, Scott is my ball and chain. Um, so I feel like she would, you know, they would be trying to, uh, get involved. Let's ask about Daniel. Let's see what she says. I like Daniel. He's pretty cool. Also, she's saying, you know, I think he's a really good kid. He's starting to become a really good young man. And I think that hopefully him and, um, Emma will get along well. These kids work so hard on helping the family out. It's nice to see Emma's getting an opportunity to do some writing on how she's feeling. So I'm just gonna send everyone to sleep. Okay, so Emma is the first one up this morning. She needs some fun, but I'm gonna have her... I'm gonna have her come down and I'm gonna have her start to serve breakfast because everyone's probably super hungry all right so there's food for everyone so they can't say there isn't any food in the house harry is coming to have some breakfast but okay so enough with the farm and painting we got quite a bit of that done we are now going to travel with emma and charles and we are going to go just have a good day so they've decided they're going to head out with their friends to 
the old pool hole, the old swimming hole um, with their friends just to have a good day, you know, swimming around. I think it's really good for the kids to get out. I think Emma is still feeling pretty sad about the fact that she, she didn't finish school. And I think that she is, you know, sad that they didn't get to, um, that she didn't get to do all the things that she really wanted to do in life. And I think she's feeling pretty low about it. So both of these two really need fun. So they've decided to invite everyone out um and just to do a little you know what so swimming party Owen here is one of Adeo's kids that they wouldn't cut that was one of the family members that wouldn't come to the birthday party look at them jumping in they're getting ready for a swim okay so after she's done inviting everyone let's just see if there's anyone I'm missing in Harry's friend group I think we're good so we've got everyone coming over Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, you guys! This is Gianni. I really liked you. Oh my gosh, can we just... Okay. Let me just appreciate this view for you. Look at Gianni. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Gianni is super adventurous, as you can tell. He just immediately jumped in the water so everyone is swimming together as soon as she invites everyone over i should have put him in the old style bathing suit i didn't even think of it but anyways so here is everyone oh my gosh i gave everyone a makeover she really dressed up for the occasion but this is lily how beautiful is lily oh my god i love lily and then over here is Annette, and then of course, ooh, Daniel's looking a little, little upset right now. So let's have everyone swim together. Because I just feel like all these kids work so unbelievably hard that I think that it would be fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know what? Daniel wants a piercing so bad. I try to take it off all the time. Is that Mitchell? Is he finally here? Yay, Mitchell. Yeah, his hair's blonde again. Oh, it went back. So yeah, this here is Cohen. He is one of their friends. I didn't give all of them a great swimming look, I just realized, but it is what it is. Oh, look at these two chatting. I feel like Emma would be a little jealous about that. But I'm going to have her come swim here for group. Ooh, let's do a cannonball. Let's see what happens. So I think they all, they work really hard on the farm. I think everyone works pretty hard, but primarily uh, Harry works the hardest and Emma. A lot of these kids aren't necessarily rich, but they're... Um, you know, oh, ooh, they're a lot more well off than the others are. So I'm gonna have her do a, a backflip. Oh, she's gonna do the backflip. Whoa! Okay, so everyone's swimming, everyone's having fun. I think she's gonna come over here and get pushed on the swing by Daniel. So Daniel looks a lot happier now that Emma is paying attention to him and that he gets to spend time pushing her on the swing. If you guys remember in the last episode, we saw Daniel jump to the aid of our little brother, Edward. Um, he was a big fan of or So, you know, that was really sweet that he likes to take care of kids. Um, and I think he is... A little bit enamored with Emma I'm not gonna lie um, in my mind Daniel has a huge crush on Emma he really cares for her she's always been really supportive Daniel is a came from a poor family his mom and dad were not wealthy but when they passed away and he moved in with Sarah and his uncle so I think that, you know, he became wealthy, and, but he still understands what it's like to be poor. So he really understands um, Emma, and I think he understands how important it is that um, she helps her with her family, and he just understands her, and I think that he just really cares about her and really wants her to have the best life possible. 
Um, and I think that Emma definitely cares for him and is very appreciative of the fact that he is um, there for her and he's always been such a good friend. Um, so they're visiting right now. I'm going to have uh, Harry come light the fire. Who is this random dude at our pool? River Madrid? Who is this? This is Rosa. Oh my gosh, who did Mitchell get in a fight with? Mitchell? Oh, we're gonna have to find out who he fought with. He obviously doesn't like someone. Everyone's hanging out, having fun. I think that I'm gonna have Emma just try a flirt with Daniel just to see how it goes. Oh, she, everyone wants to just fire flame all of a sudden. She's doing a lot better than her brother did, though. Every time he drives, he gets himself on fire. Oh, let's see. Did it work? Oh, we got little loves. What does she want to do? Let's just leave it after that. Oh, but look who came over right away. Johnny's like, oh, I'm just talking to your brother. So I think I want her to just try to get to know Gianni. And I think there's a little bit of a... Little bit of a triangle happening here. So Gianni and Emma just became good friends. Ooh, I don't think Daniel's too happy about that though. He's really trying to distract her. <laughs> so it looks like we've got a little bit of a triangle happening here. So, oh, Harry is trying the fire flame again. <laughs> His dad would be so upset. So she's going to push Daniel this time and she's just going to tell him, you know, talk to him about how sad she's been feeling re recently with not being able to go to school. It really broke her heart that she's missed this opportunity because she wants to be a writer so badly when she gets older and she feels like it's going to be a lot harder to achieve that goal when she doesn't have the education that's required. And Daniel's going to say, yeah, but you know, like your family really needs you on the farm. That's really important too. Uh, I'm sure if your parents could, they would put you through school, you know. Um, it's important to follow your dreams, but, you know, what would what would happen to your mom with all those kids right now? You know, it might be something that you do later on. And so I think Emma's realizing, you know, it is really important for her to support her family still. And I think because Daniel's lost his mom and his dad, he doesn't want Emma to ever feel like she's going to have any regrets in life because he probably regrets the fact that he didn't get to do a lot of things or share in a lot of memories with his parents. So I think he just doesn't want her to rush anything and feel um, like have any regrets when she's um, older. When someone else has gone through something um, that someone else hasn't and they've learned a lesson from it, we always want to share that lesson. Oh my gosh. As he's talking to her, look who she's thinking about. Gianni. That's interesting. Look, she wants to go talk to him, chat with Gianni. So I think he upset her with that. Oh no, look how sad. He's like, wait, wait a minute, what's going on here? But yeah, like he wants to spread his wisdom, right? But it's kind of hard to do that. So what is she doing with him? She's showing off her outfit. So I think that she appreciates his advice, but I don't think it's necessarily what she wanted to hear. So hopefully um, Emma is leaving with some good advice, but I know that Gianni definitely overheard that conversation, and I feel like he is got a couple of things to say for himself uh, in regards to that situation. <laughs> Emma have gone home. We are coming home to Gianni's house here. And Gianna, Gianni is feeling confident. He's happy about making new friends. He is thinking about the fact that he overheard Emma and Daniel talking. And he, you know, feels really bad that she is so sad. I think he's, it's really on his mind that she's feeling so upset. And he is coming home to a super wealthy family and super, super wealthy life. And I think that he's just thinking, you know, well, what can I do to... 
help her or to make her feel better. So, so he, that's on his mind. So I know that Daniel, in my mind, like, so if we look at Daniel, he has the leader of the pack. He's kind of, you know, he's the son of the mayor. So, you know, his dad is a politician who doesn't have pants on still. And I think Gianni, you know, Johnny has been raised with wealth, but he's also been raised, you know, by a politician. And I think that that has caused him to want to break loose a little bit. Like, I think he'd rather be a farm boy. Like, I don't see him really wanting to be this prominent man when he gets older. And I think that that has made him be a little bit more... Uh, out there so he has the self-assured loves outdoors trait and gregarious in my mind he is the more adventurous let's wing it why are we worrying about things type of attitude because he's never had to worry about anything whereas Daniel is more of the type of guy who is I've lost everything you know I want to play it more safe because you know he doesn't want to experience any more pain or heartache in his life Whereas, obviously, Johnny hasn't experienced that. So Johnny's, like, a little annoyed that Daniel's given her this advice. He feels like, you know, Emma should pursue whatever goal she wants. There shouldn't be any reason she should be held back. Because he's not thinking, like, oh, money and his her family's, you know, well-being. He's just thinking, you know, she is a really great person. She's really great at this writing thing. And he wants to try to help inspire that. So... His dad has this typewriter, actually, and so he is actually going to <laughs> take it and he's going to give it to Emma. So um, we're going to put that in his inventory. I can't actually put it in his inventory because it's not a laptop, but I put it in their household inventory. And Gianni is going to travel. He's going to jump on his horse. And he's going to travel over to Emma's house. Uh, Gianni has showed up here. And right away, he has run in to uh, Harry. So he's like, hi, you know, I'm just here to see your sister. Do you know if she's home? And I'm sure Harry would be like, interesting. You're here to see my sister, are you? Oh, and look who's out here. So I'm going to have him. So he's coming over here. He's asking about her day. And I think he's going to give her a friendly gift. So I think he's telling her, you know, I really think that you should follow your dreams. I heard what Daniel said to you and I want you to be able to write. I don't want you to give up on it. Life is really short. Your family's going to be okay. They've got lots of kids. And I think that you know, if you want to focus on doing schooling, then you should. So they're both really embarrassed, so it's not quite how I was hoping it would go. So maybe he'll ask her if she'll cloud gaze with him. So they're just out cloud gazing. Now the little sister's coming out because Nellie is obsessed with her sister and doesn't like when... Um, when her sister ignores her. So she's like, let me uh, get in on this. So he's having a nice day with her. I think he's going to tell her that he thinks she should follow her dreams and do whatever she thinks that, you know, do whatever she wants to do and not be held back by things. Oh, she went off to school because I wasn't in the household. Well, we'll bring her back home. Anyway, so Gianni's feeling pretty good. I think we're going to, you know, send him home and we will switch back over to Emma. So Emma is back home. So I think that Emma is really excited about the fact that she got a typewriter. And so she's pretty excited. This was quite the... Uh, gift that was given to her. So I am going to give her the money back. Um, but I think dad is wondering why this young man felt the need to give his daughter such an expensive gift. 
and you know what's going on there so i think that elias is going to come downstairs and he is going to chat with emma so i think he's just going to be like you know I think it's really great that you've made such great friends, but I'm just curious why this young man felt that he needed to get you a typewriter for you. And she's just going to say, he wants me to follow my dreams, he wants me to be able to write, and I think it's great, Dad. I'm not questioning it, he's saying he just is more curious than anything, and he's going to tell her, we want you, your mother and I want you to follow your dreams too. So, um, he's like, you know, we really want you to follow your dream, too. We support you no matter what. And now mom's coming down. She's like, you know, we just really want you to follow your dreams. Of course, we want you to be able to write. You know, we're really sorry that we can't put you through school. We wish that we could. Um, we know how hard that must be. Um, but just know that if it was in our power, we would have done that. But we also support whatever you decide. But I think her mom would be saying like, but you know, just remember when you accept a gift from a man, it affects the pe way people view you. So what about Daniel? Um, and Emma has said, Daniel and I are best friends. So she didn't say, you know, Daniel is a, pe a potential love interest. She said, Daniel and I are just friends. So that's interesting. Now, her mom doesn't know Gianni either, so neither one of them can really ask her about how she's feeling about Gianni. But as of right now, Emma is not thinking about him in any specific way way. Now, on the other hand, Harry hasn't gotten any little lady friends yet. Um, but, oh, Emma's over here. Look, she's like cloud gazing. I wonder who she's thinking about. She is sparked by clouds. She's feeling so inspired. She feels like she had a deep connection. Talk about her dreams with someone. Oh my gosh. So who is she going to talk about her dreams with? We need to, how long till mom gives birth? She's about to give birth. So we need to go age up this little dude. And we need to have a birthday for Nelly. <laughs> and did she invite Gianni over? I don't know. Oh, our baby's about to age up. Edward is coming. Oh, Gianni's in the house. Okay, so I really don't know much about Edward yet, but I'm going to make him independent just because he's like one of the younger kids. So I feel like he needs to be more independent. Uh, we will go look at him soon, but I really want Emma. Oh, look, he's sitting right by the typewriter. Can we talk about our dreams with Gianni? No, don't send him home. So she's going to talk about dreams, and I think I'm going to get Dad to introduce himself to Gianni because he hasn't met him yet. Oh, look at her hugging him. That's interesting get to know. Oh, his dad's like, oh, interesting. So he sits right at the table. Hello, son. Um, what are your intentions? So dad has just jumped in on this conversation. I think he wants to definitely get to know the Gianni to see, you know, what's going on between him and his daughter. And we need mom to come down here and I need her to cook a cake. So I know that Branson and, um, I know that Branson and Elias have never really got along super well. So I do think that, um, that concern is definitely in the back of his head when it comes to Gianni. But anyways, we are making the birthday cake so we can age up little Nelly and then we will go give the two youngins a makeover. So let's go more and open and we will put that out and I am going to have Elias come over and let's have help blowing out candles and it'll be Elias. So for right now, I'm just going to give her cheerful because I can't quite decide what personality trait I want to give Nelly yet. And I've just given her the social butterfly because obviously she wants to look just like her sister. Oh, she got white hair. Okay, well at least she got a cute dress. 
So we are gonna go and give these two little cuties a makeover. I want to make Elias look a little bit older. So I think he's starting to go gray. Yeah, so he's starting to get a little bit older and I think we need to make Alice look a little bit older too. Now they're not old old. But back then I don't think men really dyed their hair the way they do now, right? So I just, I'm not personally a huge fan of my Sims looking really young. Uh, for a really long time like I feel like sometimes when I watch some of these some different challenges Their sims still look like their kids and you know at some point we have to give our sims wrinkles I feel bad about it, but he doesn't look too bad His hair is still got the blonde, but it is starting to go a little bit gray But I still don't want him to look super old either, right? So I think this is a good middle ground for now And it should be okay She's, she's so big. Uh, poor Alice. But anyways, okay, so she's got a little bit of wrinkles. She's got some gray hair. Oh, she's getting older. Okay, you know what? Nellie looks pretty good. All right, so here is Nellie. I tried to give her a few looks for herself that were individual, but then I also tried to give her some things that were like the blue hand-me-down. Do you remember Emma wore this to Sarah's wedding a few years back? And her swimsuit, her hot weather outfit, and her winter outfit. They're all just hand-me-downs from her sister Emma. But I, I feel pretty good about it. Like she looks so much like Emma. But um, that worries me because when Emma aged up into a teen, if you guys remember, that was a little sketchy. So let's go take a peek at Edward now. He got gold eyes though. That, like, he got big, beautiful eyes. Alrighty, you guys. So here is little Edward. I think he turned out so cute. I changed his eyebrows because they were super angry looking. Uh, there is his formal his sleepwear, his party wear, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. And again, I made it look like we had, made it look like we had some hand-me-downs from the previous child. I'm gonna try to get everyone to bed at a reasonable time. Is Emma feeling? <gasps> and Alice has gone into labor. All right, you guys, we're, oh, he gets up. All right, let's do this one last time. She is about to give birth. She's like, I better eat some eggs and toast. How about you come have a baby? Everyone's really hungry. Charles is going through a phase. Is dad gonna come up here and be here for her? Alice is having a baby. It is her last baby. It's a boy! Aw, I'm kind of sad about that. I really wanted a girl, you guys. I'm gonna name him Theodore Dempsey, but we'll call him Theo for short. If you guys hate the name, totally let me know and we will definitely uh, change it. But I just think it's kind of cool to name them names that are more similar to... Aw, uh -huh. oh, look at those little Theo. You know, like... In the 80s, we're not going to be naming people Theo, right? So I just think it would be kind of cool to to do that, right? S to use the older names while we're still in the older generation. So how's Alice looking? Alice is definitely aged. Or does she have enough aspiration points actually to just get that thin potion? She's only got 1,200. How much is the uh, extra lean one? Ah, Instaline. There we go. Let's get her to drink that because I don't have a TV to send them working out. So I'm just going to have her drink her. She's earned it. She's popped out eight kids. She can use her life points for that. My, you've changed. <gasps> she got her body back, you guys. See, now she looks like she did when Elias met her, just a little bit older. Okay, I now feel a lot better about it. So the next episode of the Decades Challenge is going to be the final episode of the 
decades of this decade so from 1900 to 1910 so we will be finishing out this part of the challenge and then moving on to the next decade so if you guys enjoyed this episode please let me know down below what you guys thought please let me know what you guys think about the little love triangle between um Emma and Daniel and Gianni. I'm curious to hear your thoughts about the two different um, guys that we have presented before her. I mean, she might choose someone else altogether, but I am curious to hear your guys' thoughts. You know, does Emma like the gentleman who is more family oriented and understands her family situation, but maybe doesn't quite understand her passion for, you know, wanting to further her career and education? Or do we go for the Gianni, our adventurous, stubborn guy who is a little bit pompous because he's grown up in wealth, so he doesn't really understand what the big deal is, but he really wants to support her dream and he really cares about her and he doesn't think that things should stand in her way and that he sh she should, you know, go after her dream because you only live once and he really believes in her. So, you know, we've got two completely different paths here. I'm really excited to see what your guys' thoughts are. So please let me know in the comments down below. I'm super excited to hear all of your thoughts. Thank you so much as always, you guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are seriously so awesome and I, I just love you guys. Um, so until next time, you guys, I'm going to say bye for now.